and we always start our Board of Works meetings with the Pledge of Allegiance. Uh, Jacob, would you be so kind as to lead us in the Pledge? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Thank you all. guests with us today. We have Senator Stacy Donato on my left. Uh, of course, everybody knows Shot of Being our quick treasure. And then our two Board of Works members, uh, we're always at the Board of Works, uh, Rick Figlio and John Little, and I'm Mayor Ted Penn. Before we get into the uh, ceremony for what we gathered here at the fire station for today, we'd like to conduct just real quick business. This will take maybe two minutes. Uh, gentlemen, uh, I need uh, an approval of the uh, minutes for October the 6th. Did you have a chance to look those over? I have a motion to approve Rick Figlio, seconded by John. Those in favor, 3-0. Thank you. Then I need uh, to pay the bills. So we have claims uh, 32012 through 3212, totaling. Four hundred thousand one hundred fifty-seven oh nine. That's a lot of money. Wow. And then uh, payroll period October third through the sixteenth, totaling one hundred forty-eight thousand nine seventy-three point ninety-seven. We we'll have a motion to pay the bills. So moved. Moved by John. Seconded by Figueroa. Those in favor. Three zero. Okay. Thank you. That's the business we had for now business of the day. Um, it's with great pride that I'm here today to honor one of our city employees. Didn't know you were a city employee, did you? Yeah, you sure you did. Jake Freeman has been a lifeguard at our city for two seasons and uh, been a stellar lifeguard. You know, good job. Nobody's drowned, have they? <laughs> Thank you very much, Jacob, for that. But no, uh, we had an event where Jacob, uh, in August, had to jump in and uh, utilize his life-saving skills and training to save a life outside of the swimming pool. It was on a tennis court, but it was the same training that you received for the pool. And, uh, successful in uh, saving the life of one of his tennis teammates. The, uh, the process today, Jacob, is uh, I'd like to have you come forward right up here in front of the, the dais, if you will. And I'm going to start the process today by uh, honoring you with a uh, Proclamation from the, from the city, a citation from the city for your efforts. Sit right up here. Right. Bitter days. Been in triad? <laughs> Haven't been in triad? Okay. When you're facing the camera like this, you need to do a three quarter. See how my feet are? Excellent. It's very trainable. Very trainable. See, now they get a full look at you that way. Okay? Remember that. Jacob, it was a great honor. As Mayor of Rochester, we get to present you with this commendation. And it states Jacob Freeman, a Rochester City Swimming Pool lifeguard, is being honored today for outstanding bravery and action taken on August the 5th, 2022, resulting in saving the life of a fellow RHS tennis team. As a city lifeguard for the past two years, Jake is Red Cross trained and certified in both AED, Automated External Defibrillator Training, and CPR. This training became necessary 
not as the result of a swimming pool incident, but as the result of an event outside this lifeguard domain, which required Jake's life-saving expertise. On August the 5th, 2022, Jake was participating at tennis practice with the rest of his teammates. During practice, one of Jake's teammates collapsed on the court. It was discovered that it was a heart-related emergency requiring life-saving attention immediately. The ADD was used in a shock applied that stopped the arrhythmia, allowing the heart to reestablish an effective rhythm. Jake not only aided with the AED, but started CPR and continued the process until the EMTs arrived and took over to transport the patient to the hospital. After several weeks in hospital, the young tennis player returned to school. Many involved have stated that without the quick and experienced actions by Jake, the young man would have died. It is with great honor that I bestow this commendation to Jacob Freeman this day, 10-20-2022, for permanent inclusion into the Board of Works and Safety Meeting Minutes for posterity. To say we are proud of our city lifeguard is an understatement. Fidor J. Denton, Mayor of Rochester, Indiana. Life 
and set an admirable example for others by being a dedicated leader in times of peril. Your bravery has not gone unnoticed, and I wanted to extend my personal thanks to you. Your unmatched leadership qualities illustrated what Hoosiers young and old should strive to emulate. I am looking forward to the many successes in your future and cheering you on the whole way. If there is anything I can do to help support your moving forward, please don't hesitate to reach out to me. Once again, thank you for going above and beyond in your efforts to assist, and I wish you the best in the future. Please stay healthy and safe. Sincerely, Suzanne Crouch, Lieutenant Governor, State of Indiana. Now, Jay Brainerd, you hear from uh, Lutheran. Yes, sir. Jay is uh, head of the Lutheran EMS folks here in Rochester, and you have a little something for this man, don't you? Come on yes, up. sir. Come on up and take stage. You may have shown him our stage. <laughs> 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 I'll make a cross. Okay, oh. now, see? We wanted to present you with this award for the final event. So it's a life saving award. This certificate is given in, the, given in grateful recognition to Jacob Freeman. Presented in the recognition of your life saving success while performing CPR on the fifth day of August 2022, coming to the aid of a fellow peer. The exceptional actions taken by you directly contributed to the life saving incident. This certificate is present with our appreciation and gratitude for a job well done. Presented on the 20th day of October 2022, with
Gates. He was in service from 1945 to 1949. Do you remember 1949? No! <laughs> Governor Gates was to attend a tri-state meeting in Louisville with the officials of the states of Ohio and Kentucky. Aided to the governor's the aided to the governor discovered that the governor of Kentucky was preparing a Kentucky colonel certificate for the Governor Gates and Senator Robert A. Taft, who would represent the state of Ohio. The Hoosiers decided that Indiana should have an appropriate award to present in return. The term Sagamore was used by an American Indian tribe of the northeastern United States to describe a lesser chief or a great man among the tribe to whom the true chief would look for wisdom and advice. Each governor since Gates has presented the certificate in their own way. It has been said that one governor even resorted to wearing a full Indian headdress, which I saved you from today, <laughs> as he reads the scrolls. The award is the highest honor which the governor of Indiana it is a personal tribute usually given to those who have rendered a distinguished service to the state or to the governor. Among these who have received Sagamores have been astronauts, presidents, ambassadors, artists, musicians, politicians, and ordinary citizens who have contributed greatly to our Hoosier heritage. It should be noted that Sagamores have been confirmed have been conferred among, upon both men and women. There is no record of the total number which has been presented, as each governor has kept his own role, just as each is reserved the right to personally select the recipient. Today, I chose you because of what you did on August. Do you want me to read this? I think it's worthy of reading, don't you? From the state of Indiana, the office of the government of Eric J. Polka. To all whom these present may come greetings. Whereas some individuals, she's breathing so heavy, so <laughs> some individuals distinguish themselves through significant contributions to their communities. Whereas the qualities and characteristics of such individuals reflect the best of the great state of Indiana. Whereas the actions of these individuals endure them in the hearts and minds of all Hoosiers. And whereas the individual named below, such as the person who has earned the respect and admiration of Hoosiers across the state, is worthy to join the ranks of those honored. Now therefore, I, Eric J. Holcomb, Governor of the State of Indiana, do hereby declare and appoint Jacob Freeman as the distinguished teacher. Uh, he 
should be recognized for helping me and being a participant. Um, I also want to thank the 911 operator for helping us out too. Um, just, he's, he deserves to be recognized as well. And I, as much as I appreciate all of these awards and stuff, it's time for somebody else to get to I would also like to thank Mr. Schwank and Ms. Mrs. Walkman for teaching me all that I know. If it wasn't for them, Drew might not be here today. Um, I would like to thank my parents for raising me right and always being there for me. Good, good or bad times, they're always the people I turn to for support. Uh, more than anyone else, I would like to thank is God himself. If it weren't for God, I wouldn't, be, I wouldn't have disobeyed my orders to go home and wouldn't have stayed by Drew's side. If God hadn't told me to stay, I would have known what to do if God hadn't led me to become a lifeguard to one day save my friend's life. It was probably one of the scariest moments of my life to watch my friend almost die in front of me. But I'm thankful for God for helping me and being with me through those entire moments and just helping me save a friend's life that way he can continue and not have it be short-lived. Um, that's all I have. Well said. Well said. Well, that's pretty much all the business. Uh, this note you left up here for me, uh, the lifeguards won't be getting an increase. <laughs> nice prop. No, no, thank you. Young yeah, Emily, yes, I'm proud of you. As you can see, the whole state is proud of you. Your parents, you know, you can't be prouder as parents. Uh, anybody up here have anything to say in closing? No? Thank you all for coming. Uh, you are paying tribute to Jake today. Thank you very much. And we are adjourned.